Hi, this is Jackie with the Build It All team. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a template in Mailing Boss 5.0. We're going to click on See Templates. And because it's the first time that you are going to create a template, you are not going to see any templates right here. You will have a choice to click on Create a New Record or Create a Template. So we're just going to click on the one right here. We're going to create new from a blank template. We're going to give it a name. We're going to choose a category that it falls under. And now we're going to design the letter that we want. So I'm going to choose to have maybe an image always at the top. And you can click on it to load an image. So I'm just going to do it plain and simple just as an example. And then we are going to create a paragraph or an introduction. So let's say welcome to my newsletter. And then you can highlight it. You can make it bold. If you click on the three dots, you can justify it slightly and put it in the areas where you want it. You can also um, increase it a slightly just like that. I'm going to say that's fine. There's already a line, so let's go and create add just some text, plain text block. So we know that is where the text is going to be done. I'm just going to click on it and highlight it and choose it to be like that. And then I am going to scroll down and you'll see that there's multiple different kinds of things that you can use or elements you can use inside of your template. So we're just going to grab this one, text with the left image, and then maybe text with a right image. And this looks like it's coming nicely. I think I just need a divider so we can go and look for a divider of some sort. We're going to click that and just drag and drop. You can see it's quite easy to manipulate this. I'm going to grab another one. And then maybe you can also add some timers if you like. But I am just going to go and look for the social media bar. Because it's important to have social media. And I'm just going to add it right there. So let's say that is the type of format that I typically want. And I don't have to recreate it each time. Then all I need to go is make sure that I change the fonts to the ones that I like. So if I click on it, you're going to see the options to change that. You can load your own images and you can also change all of these different kinds of social media icons. You can replace it with your brand by loading another image or you can edit the existing. But just remember to go and add in your link. All right, I'm going to close that. And then you can also change the look and feel of the background by going to the layout options where you will be able to change the background. So let's say I want to change this to slightly darker or let's just go with the black because of the brand. And then you can also go with the change of the content body, the background color, all of these different things that you can choose to make it a little bit more like it is yours. So you can see that you can change all of that. If you are happy with the way that it looks like, all you need to do is click on save. And you can have multiple different kinds of templates. It doesn't necessarily be just one. You can have more than one. So in this case, you can see my newsletter template. I've got this one. I might have another one where I want to, uh, it's a product information or a follow up or whatever. But in this case, if you want to start sending emails, making use of this template, you just kind of click on let's start sending. And you will have the option to send a regular autoresponder or automation. I'm just going to close that. It's quite easy and quick. If you want to send all campaigns, you're going to click on that and it will take you to all your campaigns. And you can also go and edit this if you've made any mistakes or delete it by clicking on delete. And do you wish to delete? And now it will be removed. And that is all from this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in another. Bye.